Hey everybody, Rory here with Totally Rory International. Today we're going to be talking about chakras, all right? <laughs> so the mainstream chakra system that we're going to talk about is based on the Hindu chakra system. Now, you might be asking, what the heck is a chakra, okay? And some people say chakra, some people say chakra. Doesn't matter to me, okay? But the chakras are a spinning wheel of energy located from the base of your spine to the top of your head to your crown. Those are the ones we're going to talk about today. Now, although most people only focus on the seven, <laughs> the seven, the seven chakras that we're going to talk about today, there are actually 114 of them in your whole system that make up your whole being. Now, each one of the chakras possess their own individual color, their own vibrational frequency, um, and, and the wheels of the spinning wheels are actually a catalyst of unconscious and human function. So they kind of make things happen. They govern various emotional issues from our survival instincts and our self-esteem to our ability to communicate and express love, express ourselves, you know, um, to speak your truth. They govern all of that. Now, a chakra blockage or an imbalance in your chakras, whew, whether it's in one of them or all of them <laughs> or a couple of them, they could really start you out on a path to having mental, emotional, or physical, or even spiritual ailments or situations happen in your life. So the goal is to properly balance your chakras because when they're properly balanced, they work together in an optimal way. Chakra imbalances are difficult to avoid. When you face a traumatic situation or a difficult situation, the coping skills that you develop to get through it might cause you to have disruptions in your energy and prevent you from fully healing. A goal would be to do healing or clearing on all of your chakras on a regular basis. This will help you to work in union with your body systems. The fourth chakra, also known as the heart chakra, is the center of love and connection. It's located by your heart, of course. <laughs> A strong, balanced heart chakra allows you to live freely and openly from a place of compassion. However, a blocked heart chakra can interfere with the happiness and relationships in many, many ways. A heart imbalance often manifests as a lack of love and compassion. Some symptoms include loneliness, shyness, and social anxiety, um, being overly critical towards others. You might even find yourself holding grudges, being unable to give or receive love freely. You might even find yourself having suspicions and fears, especially in friendships and in romantic relationships. I remember once when I was hurt, <laughs> and this is what I did. I purposefully closed down my heart chakra. I was like locked down, okay? I placed a barricade over <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I was protecting myself. I was like, I don't feel like being hurt anymore. <laughs> you know, that's what I did. And then I started having all these pains, man. I was having pains in my neck. I was having pains in my back. I was like, what in the world? So I regularly go to a network chiropractor. So I went to my chiropractor and he told me exactly where the block was, and that was what was creating the pain. It was my heart shock was what I did. So while it was on the table, I released it. I released all the blockages, all that that I put up there, the barricade. And I'm not going to ever do that again because it was really, really painful. I'd rather just go through the situation. Now, I know a lot of us, we get in relationships, we get hurt, and we want to just shut down, but we really can't do that. That is not the way to go. It's better to heal that situation. A blockage in the heart chakra can also lead to physical symptoms like poor circulation, heart troubles, and respiratory illness like asthma. 
If you consistently have an issue with these conditions in your life, clearing your heart chakra may help you to recover from them and lead to a healthy life, both emotionally and physically. There are many ways to help balance the fourth chakra. Regular meditation and yoga practice, that's one of them. And it, it, that could be useful with healing all your chakras, breath work, you know, doing some prana yoga, all of that, um, visualizations. You, I mean, one is you can imagine like a, a ball of green energy and you can see it at your chest and then you can release that ball of energy and remove the blockage that is at your heart chakra. But I will teach you how to do all of these things. Uh, honestly, another thing that you could do to release is release anger and release fears and doubts. And you can do that... Um, you can do that through thought, you know, instead of feeling angry about something, you can choose a better thought. You can say, you know what, <sighs> is it worth it to get angry over that? Uh, if someone says something that you don't like, you could think about it and think, is that what he or she really meant? Did they mean for me to take it that way? How else could I take this? You could play devil's advocate with a situation. You could say, you know what? I'm going to choose to not be irritated by that because that doesn't do anything but bring my vibration down. So you could actually practice releasing the anger, releasing the fears and things of that nature. But again, don't worry about all that. When you get into the group, I will teach you different tools, different techniques. I will teach you what you need to know so that you can balance your chakras, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, as you hear all of this, you may relate to what I'm saying, but you, you might not. Either way, it's okay, and you're going to be fine either way. However, it is important that you know that keeping your chakras working with your body systems is really, really important. You know, I don't know if you know this, but everything is made of energy. And, and the body, it was designed to heal itself. That's how we were made. We can heal ourselves. So when I work with you, I'm going to use energy medicine that allows me to amplify your life force energy to access you on a subatomic level to promote rapid manifestations on this physical plane. In addition, I use spiritual healing and that assists me with your transformation process. So you have the best of both worlds here. <laughs> Literally. Oh, anyway, <laughs> when you become part of our Facebook group, you're going to receive a deep energy clearing, and we're going to use our proprietary formula called the Performance Enhancing Med Meditation Method. So, when you join our group, I'm going to inbox you, and you'll get all I want you to do is respond and let me know which one of your chakras was blocked the most after taking this chakra assessment. And when you're a part of our amazing community, you're going to actually receive one of those healings every month, a deep energy clearing every single month. And I'm also going to give you tools that you can use to maintain the healing. So it's not all about me just giving you some fish. I'm going to teach you how to fish, okay? You're going to receive live training and content that's going to prepare you to manifest your desires on purpose. So get on over to Facebook and see if you have a message from me. And then let me know which chakra was blocked the most, which one stood out the most after this um, assessment today. And get ready. Get ready to live the life that you deserve. See you over in the group.